Somebody decided to the last minute when the sun was going down and when everybody comes home from work and drives their cars and honks at people because they're mad to film her video. Me. I did. I did that. Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm the Witch of Wonderlust. Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm the Witch of Wonderlust. drinking simple plain green tea from the grocery store. The reason being is because I decided to do a spell video today. First on camera personal spell, so I'm a little nervous about posting this, but hopefully this will help you guys out. So Gianna from the Wild Rose Garden sent me some of her products out of the kindness of her heart. And she, let me tell you, she spoiled me. She didn't just send me one or two, she sent me a plethora of products. This beautiful crystal quartz. I didn't get any b-roll of it because I didn't want to take it off. But immediately when I opened it, and I'm not usually one to hook straight to crystals. I don't get very connected to crystals immediately. But this one, when I opened it, I, I know she did something to it. She charmed it, enchanted it, she cleansed it really well. Something. Because this thing was just beaming. It was beautiful. And I was like, that's going around my neck right now. This little vintage Egyptian perfume bottle. So you can put oils or perfumes or anything like that in it and just it's oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. And that's definitely going on my altar. The thing she sent me is this gorgeous little bottle. It's a purifying mist called Pure Aura. I don't know exactly what is in it but it smells delicious. This roll on, it's a little ball roller. It's called Honor Your Body, and it has bergamot, grapefruit, lime, orange peel, rose petals, and cinnamon. It's a little earthier than the Pure Aura. That one smells really good too. Also sent me a shea butter, and I actually don't own any shea butters, but you know, when you go into places like Bath and Body Works and you just, they have the testers out and you're just like secretly using them because you don't actually want to spend $30 on the shea butter. She sent me handmade, all of these are handmade, which is amazing. Some shea butter called Forget Me Not. It's a fragrance blend, it's got jasmine in it. And lastly, this is my favorite out of all of it. She sent me this oil called Divine Light. And just look at this green, shiny mica. Oh my God, it's just so pretty. That inspired me to redo my money bowl. And that's what we're going to do today. So that's what I'm using in my spell. This inspired this spell today. I already had a money bowl to begin with, but redid it. Cause I've had that money bowl up for about a year and a half and I kind of let it go stagnant. So I figured it was time to just completely start from scratch and revamp it. And that's what I did with Gianna's Divine Light Oil. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have all my stuff. Um, my intention for this bowl in particular, because I have used this bowl for my money bowl prior, but I just cleaned it out. I cleansed it with some water. It was just water and I just really scrubbed everything. Instead of just bringing in a constant flow of money, now I want to set the intention for this bowl to bring in a constant flow of money from my creative business specifically. It is going to attract money specifically from my creative business and my creative business only. Now, this is a money incense that I got at Pagan Pride, so I don't really know what brand it is. It does smell very good, so let's light that. I'm just going to kind of use this incense to cleanse and reset intentions on anything or anything that is going in this bowl or the bowl itself. It's getting smoky. I'm also going to go ahead and smoke cleanse this candle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this over all of my things in a clockwise direction because I want to be attracting things. So we'll just let that burn. These are always, always, always too long. So the whole point of a money bowl is to attract things. It's not to create something and manifest something like that. It's to have a flow. So 
the money bowl or the plate or anything like that works as you work with it. So if you stop working with it, then it's, it's going to stop working. But if you pay attention to it, if you add things to it, if you take things away, you're going to be using that flow with this little money bowl. It uses physical symbols of money that is flowing in and out. So if your money bowl becomes stagnant, then your finances in that realm will become stagnant as well. So that's the whole idea of it. Um, I personally am going to use a candle with mine. You don't have to do this. I just, for some reason, I felt like I needed to use a candle with mine, so I'm gonna do that. Oh. So I'm gonna do that. You can also use, alternatively, instead of a money bowl, you can make a little charm bag. They're a little more difficult to use rather than a bowl because bowls are just easy to pick things out and put things back in but you can use a bag as well if you don't have a specific bowl if you notice i'm using a lot of colors so green obviously associating with money there's a lot of silvers there's a lot of coppers there's a lot of golds so if you notice that that's a big part of what i like to do in my craft is um, color association because it works really well for me okay so to begin with i already kind of got this guy going. Um, I go clockwise because clockwise is bringing things in, it's attracting things. So first things first, with a money bowl, you have to put money in there. So pennies. Pennies are traditionally used for, they're seen as a symbol as good luck, so they're very good for luck, for money, for things like that. So I like to just ask the pennies. So these pennies are going into my money bowl to attract luck, to attract all of the finances and more money flow into my life from my creative business. Okay. So also I'm using coins. I mean, I know there's some US currency, but I'm using some coins that I've gotten from my travels and I just never returned to the bank. I'm using specifically foreign currency because I want to travel. This money to allow me to travel, to have my finances from my creative business attract the money so that I can go out and I can travel and I can flow with all kinds of currencies and not just American currency. So notice how I'm doing all of these things with direct intention. I'm not just putting pennies in there because somebody named Olivia on the internet told me to put pennies in my money bowl. I'm putting those because those are a symbol of luck to me. I mean, they're a symbol of luck to a lot of people, but I'm putting foreign currency because to travel with this money that is going to be attracted into my life and to be able to be stable with other currencies and not just American currency, if that makes sense. So I'm putting those things in all with an intention, not just throwing stuff in there. Okay, so I have some cinnamon. You can use ground cinnamon. You can absolutely do that. Last time I did that, it made a mess. <laughs> So, but if you want to and you're putting it on a plate, you can also put it just around. Um, of course, if you don't have cats or small children that will mess it up, but I like to use these. They also just, ooh, they smell so good. So cinnamon is used for money quite a lot. It's used for finances, it's used for abundance, and it's also used for speed. So I like to use cinnamon for not only money, but for speed for getting the money. So I'm not constantly waiting on it. It's not sluggish. So I see it, I see it happening. So that is what the cinnamon is going in there for. There's not particularly a reason why I'm only using three. I just only bought three because that's what came in the package. But if you have, if you want to use four, I think that's a very good way to use you can use three for manifesting, you can use four for stability, for really anchoring things in. That's completely up to you if you want to use magic numbers. Okay. This is sea glass. Notice that it's green. <laughs> sea glass seems kind of lucky to me. Roughed around the edges and been through a lot. Um, but I find it to be kind of lucky. I also find it kind of like, I don't know, I just feel like a draw to putting this in here. So. I, I'm just gonna trust my gut and let it happen and put that guy in there. If you like using stones, you can use pyrite. Pyrite is a really, or fool's gold is another name for it. So obviously um, this guy likes to draw in money. It's very shiny, it's silver, so it's associated with finances and money and abundance and prosperity. Lastly, I am using bay leaves. You can absolutely write on bay leaves. 
there is a very simple spell that you write your wishes or your manifestations onto a bay leaf and then you burn it. And that is said to manifest your wishes or your desires. But bay leaves are also very good for things like prosperity and abundance. So I'm just gonna throw those in there as well because they, um, they smell really good and they definitely attract good finances. Okay, you can grab a piece of paper. You can write your finance manifestations in here. I would write it either three times or you write what you can. You turn it to your right and you can write another one, turn it to your right, and whenever you're done, just sign it three times like a check. Just right across everything, okay? And once you're done, you're going to fold it towards you, turn it to the right, fold it towards you, turn it to the right, and just keep folding until you have a little bit of a package and then toss it in there. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so I have that. Now I'm gonna work on my candle. I'm gonna set that aside. I have this little candle holder that I made with Maria. So I'm just going to pop it in the middle. These candles don't actually drip. They just burn completely down. So that's really helpful. But first, I'm just gonna run these through just for good measure. Get anything sharp. You can use a knife, a sharp pencil, a pen, anything like that. And if you're using a candle, if not, you can stop here. Just toss like a dollar or two or some pocket change every now and then. You can grab the dollar out. So just make sure to interact with it constantly. And if you don't have any pocket change to give it and you feel like you need to feed it, go ahead and put some extra cinnamon. Maybe put another stone, maybe put a bay leaf. You can put basil in there. You can throw some glitter. <laughs> you can literally put anything in there that you associate money with. So just toss that in there. Or you can do another paper and refreshen that up. So just don't feel like you ever are limited there. Um, just go ahead and feed it whenever you feel like you need to feed it or light an incense next to it or light a candle for it and um, just meditate on the intention that you had set for the bowl. So for the candle, I'm gonna go ahead and carve it. You can carve your intentions down it. You can just do dollar signs. You can write whatever you like. So I just wrote the same thing that I wrote on my paper. You can also just do whatever de denomination your money is in. I'm just going to do the dollar sign. <laughs> Am I though? Is this a dollar sign? No, this is not. This is really difficult though, so if you can't if you can't get it very well, that's totally okay. Same thing with any of your symbols. You want to make sure that there's an intention behind it and you're not just throwing on symbols just to throw them on there. Okay, so now that we have that carved, I'm going to use Divine Light by the Wild Rose Garden that I was gifted, so thank you for that. It's shiny, it's glittery, it's got cinnamon, basil, and mint, and rosemary, and sage oil, and mica. So it's just got a lot of really good properties for prosperity, and I'm going to use that to dress the candle as well. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Just gonna wake it up. And we're just gonna dress this candle. People will tell you a lot of different ways to dress the candle. Just do however feels best to you, honestly. There's no way, there's no right or wrong. You don't have to do side to side or up and down or if you don't feel like you need to. I, I just put it on there. I don't, I don't have any special way. Okay. Now, so now I have that. Um, you can see my engravings and all the sigils that I did. So now that is it. I'm going to light this guy up and I'm just going to seal my paper. All right, so there is that. I'm just gonna put that right on top there. And 
there we go and so like i said this candle i know that this type of candle burns straight down and doesn't drip if you don't want your candle to drip all over the place i would suggest getting one of those candles or not using a candle i usually i actually have never used a candle for my money bowls so especially not in one but for some reason i felt like i needed to do that so i just went with it but that's it so you know every so often when there's not a candle you can toss a dollar in there you can toss some extra coins in there um, just feed it make sure to pay attention to it and just keep the energy moving from within it you can even just light a incense for it um i have glitter all over my hands but that's not always a bad thing <laughs> so that's really it for this particular spell it's super easy and like i said you do not need a candle for this so if you are not in a place that you can use candles this is a really good low-key kind of spell to do because then you just kind of have a bowl of stuff especially if it's a big bowl and it's up on a shelf and people don't can't really see in it you can honestly just say that it's your money bowl that you just change you put you put your change in there or if you want something to carry around with you you can do the same exact thing i am not going to light this on fire that is my affirmation for today <laughs> a bag like this you can put papers with sigils in them you can definitely anoint it with oils you can put anything like this or extra coins or a dollar or so in there so don't limit yourself if you don't have a bowl or things like that and if you don't even have herbs that's totally fine or stones just put your money in there just put your change in there and throw some extra stuff in there whenever you feel like you need to don't feel like this is the only way to do it because this is just one of a million thousand ways to do it so don't limit yourself okay i would also like to point out that if you don't have a certain oil like that you can use olive oil and you don't even have to use oil at all use what you have don't run out and go buy all these fancy things if you have just a bowl or if you have just a cup if you have just a green plate use anything that you have and don't feel like that your tools are limiting you because the real powerhouse is you. So that's all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that video. I hope that that helped you and maybe gave you a little bit of inspiration on what to do for your money bowl or any kind of charm bag or anything like that. If you'd like to join the Wonderless Coven, go ahead and hit subscribe. We also have a Wonderless Coven Reddit sub page, so that will be in the link. And the Wild Rose Garden will have a link in the description below. So if you want to grab any of these products, I'll leave that link. She's a really nice person. We've been messaging back and forth. Other than that, I will see you guys next Wednesday. I hope you have a wonderful week. And as always, best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.